Welcome to Live Free with Chris. The leaves, they are a changing, but don't take my word for it. Get out here and see them for yourselves. We're going off the beaten path in the White Mountains region to see how the fall season is shaping up. Why not kick off this trip with a waterfall? There's several places to access Livermore Falls. We found a spot in Campton on the western side of the Pemigewasset River. Follow the path down a short hill and within just a few minutes, you'll be at a great place to take in the falls and the surroundings. From this vantage point, you have a great view of the cascades that tumble down about 25 feet through a small gorge. A bonus at this locale is the old railroad line. Spend a few minutes walking along the path as it winds along the river. Just a couple miles north of the falls, you'll find this gem, the Blair Bridge. First built in 1829, there's a lot of history here. The current bridge was constructed in 1977 and spans nearly 300 feet. Drive or walk across to admire the foliage from both sides of the riverbank, or walk down below to get an entirely different view. Then it was on to Mad River Coffee House just a few minutes away. About halfway through our trek, we figured it was the perfect time to fuel up for the rest of our route. This is a must stop whenever we're in the area. They offer so many delicious baked treats and sandwiches and an amazing selection of freshly brewed coffees. And did we mention they roast their own beans? Heading north from Campton, our next stop is Loon Mountain in Lincoln. If you haven't taken the gondola to the summit, are you in for a treat? Take the scenic ride up the mountainside and in just about 10 minutes you're at the top, taking in majestic mountain views. Talk about breathtaking scenery. Be sure to check out the observation tower for 360 degree panoramic views overlooking the White Mountain National Forest. From Loon, we headed to the town of Warren. Not only does it have a charming town common, but it's also home to this, a redstone rocket. It's been referred to as one of New Hampshire's curiosities. I'd just say, how cool is that? The eight-ton missile has taken center stage here in town since its arrival in 1971. The monument honors New Hampshire astronaut and native Alan Shepard. To wrap up our day, we break out the bikes and hit the trail. You can pick up the Warren Recreational Rail Trail from the Redstone Rocket, so that's just what we did. The trail is a nice, fairly flat ride, good for just about any ability. It's quiet and peaceful and offers up a great way to see some of this season's seasonal scenery. It won't be long before leaves in this region reach peak color, so don't wait too long to plan a trip. For specifics on the places we stop, check the blog at visitnh.gov. And until next time, live free with Chris.